I tell you a background, a uh, rough idea of a paladin for lymphania difficulty. Uh, I went and filled out the job tree in Royal Guard. Um, I, I meant to do a longer video, but it turned into 40 minutes. So this is the shorter one by comparison, but uh, Royal Guard for the sword link. Uh, oops, master points. Uh, I went with HP and spirit. Uh, one for the job action, the other for Radiant Aura, but also to, to defend against magic damage. Uh, Paladin, 330% to get up to 400% to be able to negate all status effects. And then I dumped the rest of the stamina up here. But then Category 2, I, I went for damage taken at max HP. And then Category 3, because of how I'm playing, I'm using parry MP recovery. And then a little bit of category four critical MP recovery so that when I critical hit, uh, that I get a little bit of MP back. And uh, so I, I am using the Royal Guard version just because of that sword link uh, where I do have Radiant Aura on the first job slot. And then I, I just chose Shield Charge because that was stat bonus stamina. And... Uh, Sacred Blade, just for giggles, but that's also because my sword happens to have it. Uh, relics, just I, I have a mix of lower quality stuff with some higher quality stuff uh, that's trying to help out my stats a little bit. But smithing on my gear, if I didn't have good effects, I fused over... I'm sorry, if I had good effects, I fused over like an HP, uh, Spirit... Uh, Roman numeral one, a uh, spirit five, uh, some threes, and just a handful of ones. And then the accessory as well is where I, I snuck on a little bit more. Uh, except that last slot, the normal attack MP recovery thing, that I didn't care for that. That's just, I didn't fuse it off. Uh, Sentinel taking half of my HP, turning that into uh, mitigation. And then the bravery just to help out with the break gauge so that I don't get broken. Because if I get broken, I lose my sentinel early. And then the lunatic is there because I like attacking a little faster. Uh, I do have paladin paladin just so that I don't lose my uh, holy fang or my shield of kings. And then in terms of how I'm managing MP on this build, uh, I am using the samurai 600% to trigger the combo ability effect uh, on the first on either the first slot, the shield char or the third slot, or this forward attack. Uh, so as long as I hit the enemy with a normal attack, the combo ability will trigger parry buffs. Even if I don't actually parry, I still get all that parry MP recovery from my master points. Sorry, I'm like spitting into the microphone. Uh, so that's how I'm dealing with the MP generation. Uh, but it could have also been like, Hunter 400% or just soul shielding with a lot of soul shield MP recovery, something like that. Uh, monk 400% to get 50% more HP, and then also the 250% to double the parry buff duration. This is going to be a long video, I think. I'm sorry. Uh, Dark Knight 400% for near death. Berserker 250% to have a form of protect and shell for a tank build. Uh, and then me personally, I do like the soul shield break cost from Assassin, 120%. And uh, I think this Void Knight was just from, I just didn't feel like changing anything else. Uh, but also something very important for my build on the world map is the chain cancel, uh, summoner 120%. So that when I'm fighting, I get some MP back, uh, max MP back specifically. Uh, but with any difficulty, back it up a little bit doesn't care about the item level so I am just my average item level is not sufficient for say a Gilgamesh difficulty app but it's more than enough for Lufenia difficulty now I realize I don't have um I'm going to go into this map just to kind of demonstrate but uh as long as I do let me just send those two away for a moment uh also ignore shirtless Jed he had a stream. Uh, so if I do a normal attack and the Radiant Aura, I just, I don't trigger the combo ability effect unless I hit the enemy. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to uh, 
watch my MP. It's just now starting to come back. So at this point, I could use Sentinel and then start to get bravery going, job action. And then because I have Summoner, I can start to chain cancel off of these Radiant Oros and start to build max MP. And my Sentinel is still holding strong. Uh, so I'm going to add a Lunatic to the whole mix and even a Lightbringer. Oops, uh oh. And it's kind of how the fight could go, uh, whether it's Tiamat or the Emperor, um, as long as they don't dispel or break the player. And at and, and which point, then things go south really bad. But uh, I'm going to try to stop this video before I end up making it 35 minutes long. Uh, but I hope that helps.